Women's rights activists carried empty coffins into a media briefing at the headquarters of a local NGO, Akina Mama Africa, in Kampala on Friday morning. The activists carried coffins to symbolize the death of 42 women killed since early 2015, whose murders have never been solved and perpetrators never brought to book. According to Lydia Namuhiru, the spokesperson of the women's protest working group says police needs to investigate the women's murders instead of making excuses and blaming the victims. The very structure of the police force is not set up to prioritize violence against women or women at all. Even though six in ten crimes reported to the police have women as victims, the police is yet to deliver on a November 2017 promise to expand its, its department on gender into a full directorate. But at the end of the day, this is a Ugandan issue that needs Ugandan solutions. Allow the women who are at the forefront of the risk to contribute to the solutions. I think if President Yuri Museven is making his planning and sitting with his ministers and honorable MPs, he should allow women to come to that table. So many young girls are raped. Can you imagine three-year-old children being raped by their parents, you know, by their fathers and their relatives around? So if you don't strengthen women to protect children and you kill women, kill children because you want to sacrifice them for gain, either political position or extra money, where is the country going? The police spokesperson, Emilian Kaima, says the protest intended to take place on Saturday has been authorized. But by and large, we have agreed finally that Stella and her team will hold their procession, starting from Centenary Park through to Chitigum House and then to, to the railway grounds. The most vulnerable groups include children, the elderly and the women and today's measure to speak about the injustices of women will kick off a protest march tomorrow that will clearly send a message that women have been neglected, forgotten and that they need protection. Andrew Anitwe, NTV, Kampala.